All right, so once I have this basic form down, I'm going to duplicate this off and set this over to the side. I grab that. See how I grab all the object and the lattice? I want to move that off to the side. Often I work with progression, and you'll see me uh, have a whole bunch of objects. Students always ask, why do you have so many objects? I do that for the fact that I can turn this in as a step-by-step -step production of a model. So it's just for me being a teacher, and that's it. So you don't need to do that. So how dome this looks, I can you know change that up pretty easy if I if I need to, you know if I need to like shrink or scale these up I can. But what I really want to do is cover UVs. So this object one, if you look at it, it's horrible. Okay. Three, it looks normal. But if you go mesh smooth. And then go back to one. You can see that this shape kind of represents the helmet at a higher polygon value. And this is probably the bare minimum polys I would put on here anyway. To display how many polys I got, I can go to poly count. And let's say I got a poly budget of 1,000. So now I have 448 tries. Okay. And you count your polys in tries because game engines use tries. So here in face, what I want to do is get a strap around this. To do that, I grab an edge and I go control right click to edge ring utilities and to edge ring. And now I can go control right click to faces and then go to faces. I can now go in here and duplicate face and pull it off with the blue arrow. Notice there is a box. Don't use the box, use the blue arrow. Okay, now you get this. And I just want to pull it off just a little bit, not too far away. So now I got the strap that goes around everything. It's really hard to see things, so I'm going to turn on wireframe on shaded. That way I can always see where my polygons are and where my objects are in correlation with those. This is a shell. I can control right click in object mode and I can go to shell if I need to um, just by going into object mode it's highlighting the shell however but what's nice about this it's it's a separate part altogether and it makes it very easy to texture that way let's extrude this piece and add some girth to it again you know if I was running up to the character I could probably see underneath that if I needed to Notice that added a lot of polys to my budget. I'm still under a thousand. And I'm setting myself for a thousand. Nice. So what I'm going to do now is go like this, normals, soften edge. And the reason I do that is because now it it takes the object and it allows me to have an uh, organic shape, even though this is kind of helter-skelter right in this area where there, you can see it. If it's profiled, you can see that it's actually polygons because it's a low polygon object. But with the normal softened, when I add a texture to it, it's going to soften those edges of these normals. And it's going to make it look more organic. Alright, so let's look at what the UVs look like for this object. Okay, and you went through the previous uh, three videos before this, you will find out that the object doesn't match the shape. So now in the next video, what I want to do is start unwrapping this object. All right, so please meet me in the next video.